BFG is a really handy tool that I've been using for a long time. It really helps when it comes to managing your Git history. And in this demonstration, we'll be going through how to go back to your history and clear off any large files that you may have. I actually had this issue with GitHub where I tried to push a repository over, but unfortunately the history still had the large files and it wouldn't allow me. Thankfully I was able to rectify that by using BFG. So what you want to do is head over to the official link and I will have that in the description and you can download BFG. Now when you do download it, it's going to have the version number. My personal preference is to download it to a C drive location and you can see C drive underscore BFG and I just rename it to BFG.jar and this is for reuse purposes and easy location because you can also just make an alias that links to this particular file and of course keeping it as BFG.jar when you download a new version, you just rename it the exact same and it's pretty straightforward from there. But before you do anything else, you will need to make sure that you have Java installed on your machine. Unfortunately, I won't be going through that in this video, but if you'd like to see a video on that, definitely let me know in the comment section below. So for this demonstration, we are going to be using this repository. Now, if we go back to the main sources, as you can see, the current version does not have any large files. It's just a readme file. And if we go into the commits and we take this commit, which was added large files, and we view the source, you can see we have three files here. And the largest one being nearly 55 megs, 54.4 megabytes. And this is just slightly over GitHub's recommendation of 50. Now, of course, this is no longer actually in the current version. It's been deleted, but the history still has it. Hence why we're also able to see it in the commit. So what we are going to do is the next step, which is mirroring that repository over. So what I'm gonna do is take the link for the repository. You don't need the Git clone, just copy this part and then we'll open up a location. So it's gonna be mirrored into this location. Now you can see there's already an existing clone of that repository. What I'm gonna do is just type in CMD here, and this should open up a command prompt in the same location. I'll actually just pin this over here and we'll take the browser and pin this here. And then we can now run the instructions starting from here on. So we'll do git clone and hyphen hyphen mirror. I'll actually make this bigger as well so you just can see. And then we'll paste that in by right clicking. So I have to go back again and copy this. Then we'll hit enter. Now, if you're prompted to log in, just make sure you're on your browser's page and you know it'll open up the authentication on your current logged in uh, session for your Bitbucket or GitHub, or if you're using any other version control platform. But anyway, you can see it has now mirrored this over. And if we actually take a look at the location, you can see it added this uh, bfg-demo.git. So we'll go back to the instruction and now we can finally use the jar file. So what we need to do is just take all of this part here. Now, if you do have this in a different location, you'll need to say, for example, in our situation, it'll be C drive location forward slash underscore BFG and then forward slash BFG dot jar. But for the sake of simplicity, I'll actually just move this over as a copy. That way it'll always just target that. Now, of course, if you had an alias, that would have been better. So you could just say BFG and the alias can just be all of this part minus the part where you actually specify the file size. And then you would just say the file size and then of course the repo that was mirrored over. But in this case, we're just going to paste that in and we want to actually search for, let's say anything over 50 megabytes. 
and then we'll give the repo name so bfg demo uh, hyphen demo and you can see it's after going through all of that and it deleted one file and if we have a look here you can see it's this specific file that's here which is the 54.4 megabytes now of course if you want to also delete other file sizes uh, you can see we have 13 and 18 and what I'm gonna do here is just change this part over to let's just say 10 actually and we should be able to see the other two files as you can see so that's deleted and now we can move on to the next part so what we want to do is cd into the repository the mirrored one so bfg hyphen demo dot git and we'll just take this part of the instruction now this is also available just after it runs everything so you can also copy it from there and that is pretty much it all done and cleaned up and the last part to do is a uh, git push to your remote repository and it'll sync up with that but in the meantime if we actually go back to the commits here you can see nothing has changed really well watch the minute we do this so that's pushed up to the remote repository and if we refresh on this page you can see there's some stuff added in to that initial commit that we had for uh, adding the large files so if we go into this you now see it says former commit id and then it has a new one and these are all changed up they're no longer available in the history so there you have it it's really handy uh, bfg is a great tool and i use it all the time but if you have any questions at all definitely ask me it in the comment section down below hope this video helped you out thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one